Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. So today we're going to be doing the top 20 figures of 2020. Saw what I did there? Mm -hmm. 20 figures, 2020. Big brain. Anyways, let's get right into it. All right, guys, so before we get into this countdown, let me just clear some stuff out. The reason why I'm doing 20 figures is because simply it's 2020. So I thought 20 figures for 2020 would, you know, would fit in and, you know, it'll be catchy and it'll be cool. That's that's the reason number one the second reason is because i never got to do a top 10 countdown for 2019 because we were busy packing everything up because we thought we were going to move out on 2019 but we ended up moving to 2020 so i never had a chance to do a top 10 countdown for 2019 uh the third reason is because there is a whole bunch of figures that were really really cool on 2019 and 2020 and so it was really really hard to even just pick 20 figures uh, out of my collection so uh, you guys will see once again 2020 uh, figures and 2019 figures so without any further ado let's get right into the countdown so starting the countdown on 20 uh, is the Ghostbuster figures it's all four ghost oh well, all six Ghostbusters but I am missing a state puff and a slimer so if anybody out there has a slimer or a state puff that they want to share with me by all means hit me up and I'll be more than happy to accept that from you <laughs> anyways uh, these figures uh, brought back some nostalgia like crazy uh, I remember playing these with these guys and I remember having this guy in particular and this little goblin right there in particular and I used to play with them in the Ghostbuster house I did have a Ghostbuster house and of course like if you guys been following me forever you guys know that all my figures have been sold in a yard sale by my mom <laughs> so all my figures all my 80s figures are completely gone and this brought this brought back some memories so this had to be in the countdown for that reason but i didn't want to open them because that's the way i'm displaying them in my room so there it is number 20. all right so number 19 is skeletor from the new mattel uh, remastered uh, vintage figures from uh, the Masters of the Universe figures. Um, so this was brought to me by a good friend of mine, Edward Littleton. Uh, so a quick shout out to Edward Littleton. Thank you so much for these figures. Uh, he's the one that got me into this collection. Uh, he sent me a bunch of uh, these uh, Masters of the Universe figures. And man, these figures are incredible. These also bring back a lot of memories. And Skeletor, of course, was one of my favorite bad guys. And um, I'm glad to have this guy in my countdown. And like I said, it was very, very hard to pick between all the figures. And I had to get a few figures. Um, so I decided to go with Skeletor. But all the other figures from the Masters of the Universe, um, I really, really enjoy. So um, thanks again, Edward. And this is number 19. All right, guys, so number 18 is brought to us by NECA. This is the Thermal Vision Predator. Um, this guy is really, really cool looking. Could you guys see him or is he invisible? <laughs> yeah, anyway, <laughs> stupid dad jokes. Anyway, so um, this Predator is really, really cool. I've always wanted a Predator like this and I always, always I've always hoped that uh, NECA would come out with a Predator like this because NECA's been killing it with the Predator figures and every other figures for that matter. But um, this is a really cool figure to have in the collection. Um, I really enjoyed looking at this figure because this is one of the top figures and it is a clear plastic. You could see through the plastic, but I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not, but it is clear plastic and I thought this was one of my favorite figures that I have in my collection. So yeah. Thermal Vision Predator. Number 17 is the Sabretooth from Marvel Legends. Uh, this figure is really, really cool. Uh, I remember having the vintage figure, and I used to play with that sucker so much with him and um, Wolverine. I used to always do battles with these two guys, him and Omega Red, but I still haven't got Omega Red. I don't know why, but I will get it sooner or later, but... Uh, Omega Red, Sabretooth, and Wolverine were my favorite figures to play with. 
um, as far as fighting and stuff like that, and it was just really, really cool. So I have I have to give this guy a spot in the countdown because this is by far one of my favorite uh, villains. Uh, I don't know about the shoes, man. The shoes kind of killed it. <laughs> I think he was originally was supposed to be like barefoot or something. But um, other than that, it is what it is. Um, other than that, this is a really, really good figure. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad he's in the countdown. Nostalgia. Number 16 is brought to us by Hasbro. This is Lord Zed. Uh, I was a Power Ranger fan as a kid. And man, when they made this guy, this guy looks freaking awesome. The tubing, everything, the everything on this figure looks really really cool i wish the skin was a little bit redder like a more blood color but um because this looks a little bit brown but other than that um i really have nothing bad to say about this figure this figure is really really cool and i do have all the other power ranger figures that those were gonna make my countdown but like i said i had to be really really picky with the figures that i'm picking at this countdown because um it's only 20 figures <laughs> usually it's 10 figures but uh yeah i had to do 20 figures and i had to be picky with the figures that i had so um yeah another figure that was released 2019 but i, I had to put them in the countdown because this is a really really good figure and hasbro really knocked it out with these power rangers this year and last year and i'm glad they came back with the power ranger figure so anyways number 16 Number 15 is the Shen Godzilla from NECA. Uh, this figure is really awesome. I really love and, and, and enjoyed the movie. A lot of people didn't like the movie. Um, I liked it. I thought it was a really cool movie. And the design of this guy was really cool. And I love the uh, evolving uh, parts of Godzilla. When he was just like a little maggot looking thing. And he started evolving to this thing. Uh, really cool. I love what NECA did to it. Looks just like him. Um, one of my favorite figures in my collection. Uh, there's other Godzillas that I really, really like, and and like the original Godzilla and this guy. But um, I had to go with this guy because this guy is really amazing, and it's the movie that I saw lately. And so I thought it was really, really, really cool figure, and I'm glad to put him in the countdown. Number fifteen. So number fourteen is our Flasher Gremlin. Uh, I'll, uh, you, this is my favorite gram. Well, between this guy and Stripe, uh, I'm gonna say Stripe is my favorite Gremlin. But Stripe was from 2019, and I wanted to do a more recent figure for the top 2020. So I, I I went with this guy because not only that, not only does he look good, but he comes with a whole bunch of accessories. So I had to choose this guy, and so that's why I put him in the top 2020 for 2020. And, of course, the designs are exactly the same as any other uh, Gremlins figure. If you guys collected the Gremlins, it's just that this guy comes with a whole lot of accessories, which is really, really cool. Um, but uh, this guy is one of my favorite ones out of the top line. But I have to say Stripe is my favorite one, but this guy is really, really cool. So I had to put him in number 14. One thing I don't like about it is that they can't stand. And also... Uh, the glasses broke as soon as I took them out of the package. I tried to pull them out of the package, and as soon as I pulled them out, they broke in half. So that was a bad design on the glasses. Uh, hopefully, NECA's watching this, and they can send me a brand new pair of glasses or something. I don't know, but we'll see if that happens. But other than that, really cool figure. I enjoy this figure. Number 14. Number 13 is Michael J. Fox himself from back to the future i should say marty mcfly instead of michael j fox but marty mcfly from back to the future the reason why i chose this guy i know a lot of people have been complaining about the scope of it uh the sculpt yeah isn't it it's not all that great and if you guys can see the ears there the ears looks like he's gonna turn into teen wolf his ears are really really bad sculpted really really bad i don't like the, how the ears look but uh I, this is one of my favorite uh movies um, of all time, my favorite trilogies of all time, one of my favorite trilogies, not my favorite trilogy, but one of my favorite trilogies of all time. And then those shoes, I've always wanted those shoes. Uh, I don't think ne uh, NECA got the rights from Nike, so that I guess they just missed out on the Nike sign. But um, the Air Mags, I've always wanted the Air Mags, and hopefully one day I could get the Air Mags. 
um if anybody's feeling generous this year <laughs> or next year uh you know send those air mags this way anyways um so yeah this is number 13 i had to put them in the list because it is one of my favorite movies of oh my favorite trilogies of all time not my favorite one but one of my favorites so number 13 so number 12 is full power broly from sh figure Arts. this is a really must have figure if you guys don't have this figure you guys must go and get this figure because man this is a massive really cool figure and i am a big dragon ball z fan or a dragon ball fan or dragon ball super or whatever just dragon ball in general uh fan um and when i got this guy i was so happy to get him because this guy is amazing everything about this ssh figure arts of course they have like the best articulation ever um but other than that uh just the way they look the way they feel really cool figures um this is one of my favorite figures this this will probably be one of my favorite figures of all time uh it, it, it might i might have a con a countdown of all figures of all time and this guy might be in that list because this is really really one of my favorite figures so uh broly full power broly number 12. So number 11, once again, comes to us by SH Figure Arts, and this is Manjin Buu. Uh, this guy is amazing. This is one of the figures that I really, truly, truly like from SH Figure Arts. Uh, everything about this guy looks freaking amazing. Uh, Manjin Buu is one of my favorite villains. Uh, the original Buu, obviously, the big fat Buu. Uh, but this guy has to be in the top 20 because uh of everything the movement the look the accessories that it comes with uh the price on this guy everything about this guy looks really really cool um i really like this guy my wife thinks that i look like him <laughs> for some reason but whatever anyways uh everything about this figure is it's amazing 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 of course it's sh figure art so of course it's gonna have a lot of movement uh but the cartoon accuracy is is there really cool really cool figure number 11 manjin boo all right guys so number 10 we are now getting into the nitty gritty uh the reason why i had a, i know this guy came out last year but i had to put this guy at number 10 because this guy is literally one of my favorite figures that i have of sh figure arts this has to be one of my favorites and if you guys are fans of mine and if you guys saw my other previous videos you guys know that i did a custom figure of broly because i wanted a figure of broly so bad um because i saw the movie and i really really loved the movie and i really enjoyed the movie and i always wanted one like this and so i made my own for those true fans that are still watching two right now and i've gone this deep into the video um i just want to give you guys a little secret as soon as i reach ten thousand or ten thousand subscribers as soon as i reach a thousand subscribers i'm going to do a giveaway and in that giveaway i'm going to be giving away my custom broly um, i will do a separate video for you guys so you guys can know how to enter and it is only us because shipping out of us especially right now with the whole virus thing going it's pretty hard to do so and most of the packages get stuck in customs which is not good so you guys are going to be waiting a long long time for you guys to get your package but um so i'm only going to do u.s shipping so uh i'm going to be giving away that broly for those fans that are actually sticking uh, sticking uh to the end of the video i just want to give a little secret during the middle of the video and let you guys know what i'm giving away for those of you who skip to the front well that's on you guys whoever didn't watch all the way to here that's on you guys so for those who are really good fans and are watching all the way to the middle to this part of the video i want to thank you and uh a little secret is that i'm giving away a broly once i reach the thousand subscribers my custom broly is the what i'm giving away anyways as far as this figure goes, the articulation on this guy is amazing. What they did to this guy, SH Figure Arts killed it with this guy. Everything about him is awesome. This change of faces are awesome. The articulation on this guy, this guy looks like it just came out of the uh, out of the movie. An all around really good figure, really really good figure to have. And you could pose them and take pictures of them, and you know, really good figure to have. Uh, yeah, so I had to be in number ten, so. Number 10, Broly. 
All right, so number nine, I have to give it up to these two guys. Uh, these is a two pack, and they, they come together in a two pack. Well, technically, this guy didn't come with this guy because this guy is uh, part of the of the uh, video game series, but I just repainted them to look like uh, the cartoon series. Uh, if you guys can see, the difference is the boots and the belt is a little bit different, but other than that. Uh, it looks basically the same as the cartoon version that it comes with this guy, which is Slash. So Leatherhead and Slash. Um, this is the cartoon series that I'm really ready to get into, or the or the action figures that I'm really getting into right now is the cartoon series Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures uh, by NECA. And boy, is NECA really killing it with these figures. These figures are really amazing to collect. And so I had to put these in the top nine because Leatherhead is one of my favorite figures. Uh, from the cartoon series, I really, really like enjoyed the the cartoon series when uh, Leatherhead came out on it. So this is one of my favorite figures, and so I had to put this guy in number nine. So there you go, Leatherhead and Slash. In number eight is the movie Turtles by NECA. I know a lot of you guys are saying, "Wait a minute, that came out a long time ago." Yeah, but they started coming out with the two packs. Uh, this is part of the two pack. Um, the thing is that uh, the two packs came out this year, so I got the uh, Mikey and Raph two pack, and so uh, this is part of the two pack. I didn't want to take all all the other figures, so I just wanted to take out Mikey because you guys know, if you guys pull one out, you guys know what the other ones look like, except for the face sculpt and the accessories, of course. But other than that, they're the same figure. So I just wanted to take out Mikey because I don't want to ruin the package or anything, or I don't want to take out the other packages, or out of I don't want to take out the other figures out of their packages. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys who number um, number eight is. Uh, actually, it's all four turtles because all four turtles are amazing. Like I said before, they're basically the same scope except for the faces and uh, the weapons. So other than that, they're is exact same mold. So um, all four turtles are at number eight all eight all four movie turtles are at number eight number seven is the ultimate metalhead this figure is freaking awesome everything about this figure is really cool and like i said before the cartoon series uh the neca figures the cartoon series neca figures uh really got me going because i'm i want to collect every single one of them um, these figures look like they just came out of the cartoon. Really amazing figures. Don, to be honest with you, when I when um, they first announced this guy, I really didn't want to pick him up until I saw him or in, in, in the box at, at the store and I picked him up and I was like, wow, this guy looks freaking amazing. Really cool figure. So I was like, I, I definitely have to pick him up. I definitely have to put him up. Well, I was going to put them in part of my collection, but I didn't really think it was going to be as good as it is. But this guy is really cool. Really cool figure to have part of the collection. So, number eight, Metalhead. All right, so number seven is Zarax and Zorg. These figures are, of course, from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cartoon line from NECA. Uh, these figures are amazing figures. They're tall figures. They really look cool. The sculpt is amazing. Even though they are using a lot of the similar parts as the other figures, uh, like I, I showed you in the review. But uh, regardless, these two figures are amazing, and I do remember them off the cartoon. And like I said, NECA is killing it. And these are the figures that are more that I'm mostly into right now, as far as collecting goes. Uh, so I do want to collect all the cartoon figures from NECA, and these guys had to be in the top ten. So number seven is Zorax and Zorg. Really cool figures. Love these figures. So number six, of course, you had to have your cartoon turtles. Uh, once again, these are from NECA. Um, I don't have Mikey and Raph yet for the cartoon version of them. Um, so I am still looking for that pack. Um, if anybody wants to be good and uh, sell me that stuff for a retail price, or they could find me that stuff and I'll pay on retail price, by all means, I'll pick it up. But um, of course, I had to pick up these guys. This was a two pack. Oops. This was a two pack. And of course, Leo is my favorite turtle. So I definitely had to pick these up. Funny story is that I, uh, I originally, when the Mikey and Raph had came out, um, I already had it in my cart. But then I was like, ah, I don't know if I should pick them up now or I should wait later on. Um, so I ended up leaving them like an idiot. I ended up leaving them. So I regret leaving them. But. Um, 
I had to leave them for whatever reason and I left them and now they're going for $120 or something like that which really sucks but I did heard that NECA is restocking them so hopefully I get lucky and I could find one and or hopefully I could have a fan out there that was willing to you know either trade or sell me the original one for a regular price uh, that'll be awesome as well but uh, of course these turtles had to be in the top 10 because they're really awesome figures so number six so number five is a bit of a weird one uh, the reason why I did this is because these two in a two pack just come with other foot soldiers uh, but I did want these in a countdown because these are two really good figures uh, a lot of people are talking mess about that face to me it doesn't look too bad it's okay it is kind of big but I mean it's okay it's not it's not horrible looking but I really do like it and I do like these figures and these two figures are a lot big part of uh, the whole turtle cartoon series and as far as Shredder goes is because he had Krang and the reason why I don't have Krang next to him is because you guys will see him later on down the spoiler alert <laughs> So a little spoiler alert, uh, you guys will see them later on down the countdown. So I did have to put Shredder here because Shredder, of course, has to be part of the Ninja Turtles because he is the main villain of the Turtles uh, cartoon series. So all three of these are qualified, but I have other figures that I did want from one through four. I had other figures that I do want in that countdown. So I had to put these on number five, all three of these in number five. So here it is, April. Casey Jones and Shredder for number five and number four of course is the most recent two-pack that NECA decided to surprise us with which is with Splinter and Baxter Stockman uh, these two figures are amazing they're tiny compared to all the other turtles or all the other figures from the turtle line uh, but they are really good figures nonetheless uh, there are a few things, minor things from uh, Splinter that all this stuff peels off as soon as you uh, move his feet or his toes, articulate his toes, a lot of the paint is chipping off. A lot of people are having that problem and I do have the problem that uh, one of the little wire that's in here, the little bendy wire is popping out of his tail which is pretty nasty. Um, I have to figure out a way to fix that. And then Baxter Stockman looks amazing. Everything about these figures are really cool. And I had to put them in the top five figures. Because um, like I said, um, once again, I'm really into this NECA line, the Turtles Neck cartoon NECA line. And they are amazing figures. So number four, Baxter Stockman and Splinter from the cartoon series. So number three is the android body for uh the krang the krang android body from NECA, uh part of the whole cartoon uh teenage mutant ninja turtle series and this guy is freaking amazing this guy could have been easily a number two or number one but being that it's a standalone figure i had to put him in number three um this figure is freaking amazing as a kid i've always wanted a krang body and now that NECA has given us this crank body, my goodness, is this a really, really good figure. This figure looks like it just came out of the cartoon. Uh, it's so good. NECA has once again destroyed this series. It's freaking awesome. I'm glad I got this guy. Unfortunately, you can't find these things in my area. So uh, it's a good thing that I found other collectors that are willing to either trade or, you know, give me a fair, really, really good price for these things. So, uh, yeah, this guy definitely, definitely could have been either number one or number two because I really, really dig this guy. Really cool figure. And number two, <laughs> to your surprise, I know a lot of you thought that this was going to be number one. But unfortunately, I have to put them in number two. And I'll, I'll tell you that when I show you guys who number one is. Um, these guys are freaking amazing. These are stuff that we've been waiting for forever. Ever since the movie came out, uh, we've been getting it. We've been waiting for collectors. I've been waiting for these figures 
forever and as soon as NECA announced these things everybody wanted to jump on that wagon and we all did and man was it worth the wait and I know a lot of people out there haven't got these guys yet which is pretty crazy to think because I thought that I waited so long to get these guys but there, I heard that there's still people waiting for these figures which is which sucks it really does suck man but just to get these guys freaking amazing amazing figures with so much detail it looks just like the movie these two look exactly like the movie ah man i'm so glad i got these guys but i did have to put them in number two for good reasons and i'll tell you that as soon as i show you number one but these guys holy moly 2020 figures have been so amazing especially by NECA I gotta give you know I gotta give a thumbs up thumbs up for NECA <laughs> because NECA you guys did it again you guys did it again the sculptors at NECA uh, really really good really really good work amazing work I gotta give it up my hats off to you guys whoever sculpted these guys man whoever sculpted this guy and I scalped it sculpted these guys uh, man my hats off to you man because these figures are amazing it's everything we wanted in the toka and razar figures so really good figures unfortunately i had to put them in number two but um let me show you why i put these guys in number two all right guys so the number one spot goes to drum roll please that's right none other than neka's super shredder that's right super shredder takes the number one spot now i don't know i, I know i know i know a lot of you guys are like i would have picked token raza over super shredder now you guys have a good point but let me explain why this guy is so important to me personally um this guy if my camera could focus on him there we go uh the reason why he's so important to me is because like a lot of you uh the turtles were a big part of my childhood uh, me and my brother grew a big bond collecting these figures and uh, playing with these figures and watching the movies and uh, everything that had to do with the turtles me and my brother grew a big bond and so when we saw this guy on the secret of the used movie we thought that this was one of the baddest coolest looking villains of all time and man we always always wanted a super shredder that looked like exactly like the one in the movie and uh when we saw this guy me and my brother called each other we text each other we we're like did you see it did you see it the super shredder and they're like yeah 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 so we both got one and man did this guy bring back so much good memories really really good memories and that's why this guy has to be in my number one i even remember having the super shredder the five inch super shredder and playing that scene in the movie over and over and over again with my figures uh, i still to this day have that have that scene in the back of my head so it's it's incredible to see this figure in life you know um once again i take my hat off to the artist at NECA uh to make to making something like this is it's 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 crazy for somebody to have something in their head and sculpting it and making it come to life like this it's it's, it's nuts but anyways guys that's gonna wrap it up that's gonna wrap up my 20 best figures of 2020 countdown i hope you enjoyed it if you did please guys don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe i am 10 people or 10 subscribers away from a thousand subscribers guys and i will be doing a, a, a giveaway as soon as i reach those 10 subscribers so please if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe let's get to a thousand let's get um let's get that giveaway uh, as soon as possible for all you people speaking of all you people i am very 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 grateful to meet all of you that i did this year uh 2020 has been pretty horrible for a lot of people but uh, I just got to say that I am very, very, very thankful for all the subscribers, for all the friends that I met uh, doing YouTube, for meeting all the other YouTubers, um, for meeting Edward Littleton, for meeting all the other clients that I have that are really good friends. I, I consider really good friends like uh, Quentin or or uh, uh, John. Um, 
and all the other people that I met on Instagram and all the other artists, all the other uh, Instagrammers and um, all the other collectors. I'm forever grateful for meeting you guys. I'm forever grateful for all you subscribers, for all you who have stuck around for so long, for all the support you guys have given me, uh, for all the clients. I really want to thank for everybody that had bought something from me. Uh, thank you so much for buying something for me because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to have my own collection. So uh, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. And um, Edward, I do appreciate you too, my bud. My buddy old pal, my buddy old pal. Thank you so much, man, for the 3D printer. That's amazing that you would do something like that for me. Um, so I will start 3D printing, which is going to be awesome. Um, so 2021 is looking pretty good. And I hope that everybody's 2021 uh, is a lot better than 2020. That's for sure. And I... I, I I pray that all of you guys have a better 2021 um, and um, I want to wish all of you guys a happy new year. I hope next year is the best year you guys ever have. Um, so that's going to wrap it up guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do, guess what? You guys will see me next year. Peace.